as good as it gets in National League speed race. Okay, Chris, you're with the team here, just walking around the, uh, the stadium, looking at the track. Uh, what's your thoughts on it this week? No, it's looking good. You know, uh, we, we, we asked for a little bit of track work to be done over, uh, over the weekend. Uh, it just kind of brought the home track advantage away from us a bit last week. But uh, no, I mean, it looks like they've done a really good job and it should produce a good meeting. Yeah, and yourself personally coming into tonight off of the back of last week, I mean, what was that, eight paid, eight paid 11 for you? Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's a good meeting, you know, uh, just business as usual. Uh, bikes seems to work well. I had to, I had to swap. Unfortunately, bikes and you know, after my second ride, I came out on the uh, on the other bike, and it uh, it proved to be exactly the same. So no, I mean it's just nice to be making starts and helping the team to points again, and you know back back to the the the, the Chris it needs to be. Now tonight, Mildenhall Hall um, kind of strengthened up, I think uh, tonight, and you guys are on the back foot because obviously Georgie's ill. We just heard, so uh, it's going to be a tough one. Yeah, these things happen, you know, um, obviously Milton Hall have brought in, um, you know, a stronger rider for someone who uh, who couldn't obviously get get here today, so, um, you know, but we, we, we've just got to go out and obviously with George, losing Georgie, it makes no difference to the individuals, we've still got to ride as a team and, and, and try, try and bring the points in as best as we can. One more question, enjoying that nice new Warrior t-shirt of yours? Oh, it's, it's insane, it's re really good, I could just do with a... It's, bit tight that's all but oh, okay. uh <laughs> all right chris we'll work it off tonight and no uh, have a good night mate cheers our pleasure to be in the room here with danny airs great to see you back on the island danny the place that you love to ride listen it's great it's great to be back here um definitely uh one of my favorite tracks as you know the port will be a big supporter of yours ever since you've uh well pretty much since you started but well shouting at the tv a few weeks ago i was what a ride in that uh bellevue hey listen uh living on cloud 15 on that one so uh listen great night obviously there's you know i'm not disappointed in it i feel i've got a few excuses for the night and i genuinely believe that if i'd have started the night like i ended it we could have caused an upset so but um but listen i take nothing away from charles white that night i couldn't wish anyone anyone more to win that 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 and you know it just um it uh, just fuels the fire to, to, to keep pushing and, you know, hopefully the, the big reward is at the end of this, this long tunnel. There's a lot of supporters over the UK. Those supporters, that you don't ride for their team, they only see once or twice a year, really. They've no idea just how much you want to succeed in this sport. Listen, I'm, um, I'm addicted now. Um, and uh, you know, I keep I keep saying it, but I've uh, you know I've sorted everything off the track, and look, I've got some amazing new sponsors on board, NGK Spark Plugs, um, and my whole team around me is exceptional, and it is just making me be able to produce. I am 300% into this sport now. I'm not working at the moment. I've got two great trainers. I diet as bet as hard as I can, and you know there's a long, long way to go. But you know that heat, that British finals just showed the whole speedway world that Daniels means business, and and I I am trying my absolute hardest. So the only downfall is I've got to come back down now and be realistic, and you know and keep progressing because it was a great night, but I'm not there yet. I'm still going to have off nights, I'm still going to get down in the dumps, but it's how I react and push through them. 
Well, you're not there at Bellevue. You're here on the island tonight, so we're going to come back to now. <laughs> Very strong team you're a part of tonight, obviously bringing Nathan Stoneman in instead of Charlie, and also looking down your team as well. Henry Atkins recently come in and himself as well. It's going to be a bit of a meeting out there, isn't it? Listen, straight away, you, you, you know George is not here. Massive blow, gutted. Hope he's, hope he's okay. Wish him a quick recovery. So, you know, we've come here, we've come here to do a job. We need nothing less than to take all four points. So, you know, it's going to be hard. But, you know, like I say, we've, we've, we've come here to do a job. Well, you know that we are a little bit biased here on the island. So what <laughs> I will wish you is to be safe, do loads of entertainment out there and enjoy yourself. Top man. And uh, let's hope you have a great meeting. Listen, I appreciate it. Thank you. Dano's joined us here in the pits. Dano, you're not riding tonight. Obviously, had that big off over at Kent's a couple of days ago. First of all, how are you? Uh, not too bad. Um, just me, my, my back I'm struggling with at the moment. Um, main, like, it's all right when I'm standing up and stuff, but it's uh, when I sit down or if I'm laying down, I struggle to turn, turn over or sit up uh, by myself. Um, and... My head, my head's all right. I don't have any headaches. Just um, every now and then I feel a bit sleepy during the day. Um, but it's only been two days since the accident, so you know, hopefully it will clear up by the end of the week. And of course, they've got this rule here. I think it's uh, when you have concussion, it's a straight ban for you coming back for like eight days or something like that. Don't quote me on that. But anyway, hopefully Nine we'll days. see you back next week. I think that, that falls in okay. But it was Heat 14. There was a lot of controversy in the meeting before. I know one of your rides, there was a bit dodgy, you got excluded for. But other than that, you have been riding so well this season. We've said many times on commentary how you've really made a step up this year. So it's a shame that it's happened. But you're okay. You're going to move on and it's not going to be too long before you're on the bike. Yeah, that's it. Uh, like you say, I've had a, a pretty good season this year. And, um, well, my best season I've had to date. And uh, it's just the, the last few weeks um, or couple of months, I've been I've been hitting the wars quite a bit. I've been knocked off a lot. I've had a, quite a few big crashes in in the fence over here, and I've just uh, I've had I've had a rough couple of months, like crashing wise. But I've been I've still been scoring the points and cracking on with it. Um, but yeah, it's just yeah, m Monday night's crash was a was a big one. Well, it's great to see you over here supporting the boys. They're going to need you tonight. You know George is not here. We're against Milton Hall. They're pretty strong tonight. So, literally, they're going to need you uh, as much as they're going to need everybody on the terraces tonight getting behind it because it's going to be a tough task tonight. Yeah, it's uh, going to be tough, uh, especially uh, with the team changes Milton Hall made for tonight. Um, so, it is, it is going to be tough for the boys and without Georgie as well. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a big ask of them, but I'm sure they'll... they'll they'll uh, go out and give it 110% and yeah well you know what it's like in the pits this year it's um you guys are down in there you're helping each other get through things you're talking a lot the team spirit is really good there's no reason why they can't get out there and they can pull off this win tonight it's a home track they've got uh, good form they've got confidence and they're all talking no 100 percent. and the good thing about the um the rider replacement facility uh for georgie everyone can take one so ben morley is just as strong as georgie so he'll go out and have a good score. Campos is great round the Isle of Wight. He'll go out and he can do a uh, number one's job uh, in that race. So there's two races of the four that Georgie has that, you know, we've got someone just as good. And the other boys, the way they've been forming, Connor's been going really well lately. Uh, he rode really well at Kent. Uh, Chris Whitman's form last week, he was, he was on it too. Um, so it's... You know, every, everyone's been working together and everyone's improving, so there's no there's no reason why they can't do it tonight. Well, look, thanks for your time, Danny. We're going to let you get back and relax and enjoy tonight. Cheer those boys on and give them their encouragement, yeah? Yeah, thank you very much. Cheers. Bye-bye. So as you know, it's the warrior way to bring out our mascots and our mini warriors to say thank you for your support during their period of the demonstrations. And of course, we always give them an individual welcome and uh, they'll wave back to. And uh, tonight, as we introduce them to you, we've got a very special introduction because I'm going to introduce to you a young man who's birthday is today he's 11 so if you step forward and say hello to Cameron Bell <laughs> no I'm not going to sing happy birthday okay what about uh, Charlie Luckman 
and Charlie Green. And young Oliver Scully Sire. And it's big Dan Lee. And Jack Scully Sire. And what about Annie May Murdoch? And Aidan Hinchcliffe. And what about Logan Hallett? Say hello to Logan. <laughs> and one of our other little men, it's Stashu Stevens. <laughs> and last, but by no means least, the charming Anastasia Sully. <laughs> and those are your mini warriors and your mascots who've been entertaining you so far this evening. Give them a big round of applause as they come off track. Thank you. 